Good morning. How did you sleep? Morning. I slept well, thanks. And you? I had a great sleep too. What's on your agenda today? I have a busy day ahead. Need to get ready for work. Same here. Do you have a morning routine? Yes, I do. I wake up, brush my teeth, and take a shower. That sounds refreshing. What about breakfast? I usually have cereal and a cup of coffee for breakfast. Nice. I prefer toast with butter and a glass of juice. Sounds delicious. How long does it take you to get ready? Around 30 minutes. What time do you leave for work? I like to leave early, around 8 o'clock in the morning. That's early indeed. Do you take public transportation? Yes, I usually take the bus to work. What about you? I prefer driving my car. It's more convenient for me. Makes sense. Well, we should start getting ready now. You're right. Let's have a productive day ahead of us. Hi, how's everything? Good, thanks. I've been thinking about my career goals. That's great. What are you considering? I'm torn between pursuing my passion and financial stability. I understand. What's your passion? I've always been interested in writing and journalism. That's a great field. Have you done any writing before? Yes, I've written articles for a few online publications. Impressive. Have you considered becoming a full-time writer? I have, but I'm worried about the stability and income. That's understandable. Have you thought about other options? Yes, I've also considered working in public relations. That could be a good balance of creativity and stability. Exactly, and there are more job opportunities in PR. True. What steps are you taking to explore these options? I'm researching different industries and attending career fairs. That's a proactive approach. I'm sure you'll find your path. I hope so. It's just a little overwhelming at times. It can be, but remember to follow your heart and be patient. Thank you for the encouragement. I really appreciate it. No problem. You've got this. Hey, have you seen the forecast for this weekend? Yeah, they're saying it's going to be really hot and humid. Ugh, I can't stand the humidity. I hope there's a breeze. Me too. I might head to the beach to cool off if it gets too intense. That sounds like a great idea. Do you know if there's any rain predicted? I checked, and it seems like we might get some scattered showers on Sunday. That's not too bad. It could be refreshing if it cools everything down. True, but I hope it clears up before Monday. I have plans to go hiking. I heard the mountains are beautiful this time of year. Which trail are you taking? I think I'll try the one that leads to a stunning waterfall. It'll be a great view. Sounds amazing. Make sure to bring plenty of water and sunscreen. Definitely, staying hydrated and protected from the sun is always crucial. I couldn't agree more. Hopefully, the weather cooperates for your hike. Fingers crossed. I'll let you know how it goes. Hey, have you been going to the gym lately? Yeah, I've been trying to stay active. How about you? 
I haven't gone in a while, I've been so busy with work. It's important to make time for exercise. It helps relieve stress. I know, I just need to find the motivation. Any tips? Start small and set achievable goals. Maybe try a short workout at home. That sounds doable. What exercises do you usually do? I like to do a mix of cardio and weights for a full body workout. Do you have any favorite machines or equipment at the gym? I enjoy using the treadmill for cardio and the dumbbells for strength training. I'll have to give those a try. How often do you go to the gym? I try to go three times a week, but even two times can make a difference. I'll aim for twice a week then. Thanks for the motivation. No problem, we can even go together if you'd like. That would be great. Let's plan a gym session soon. Hey, do you have any travel plans for this summer? Yes, I'm actually thinking of visiting an island. How about you? Sounds exciting. Which island are you considering? I'm leaning towards going to a beautiful island in the Caribbean. That sounds amazing. What made you choose the Caribbean? I've always been fascinated by its stunning beaches and vibrant culture. That's true. I've heard the Caribbean has some breathtaking landscapes too. Absolutely. I've seen pictures of crystal clear waters and lush greenery. Have you decided on a specific island within the Caribbean? I haven't narrowed it down yet. Any suggestions? I've heard great things about Aruba and St. Lucia. They both look stunning. Thanks for the suggestions. I'll definitely look into those islands. You're welcome. Let me know if you need any more information or tips. Will do. I'll start planning and let you know which island I choose. Sounds like a plan. I hope you have an incredible experience there. Hi, have you ever traveled abroad? Yes, I have. I love exploring new places. How about you? I've only traveled within my country, but I want to go abroad. That's great. Where do you want to go for your first trip? I'm thinking about visiting Europe. It seems fascinating. Europe is a fantastic choice. Any specific countries in mind? I would love to visit France and Italy. They have rich culture. Excellent choices. How do you plan on getting there? I'm considering taking a flight. It would be faster and more convenient. True, flights can save a lot of time. Have you looked for any deals? Yes, I've been browsing online for affordable flight options. That's smart. It's always good to find the best deals. Any other plans? I want to explore the famous landmarks and try local cuisine. Good idea. Are you planning to stay in hotels or try something different? I'm considering both. Hotels for comfort and local stays for immersion. That's a great combination. It will give you a well-rounded experience. I'm really excited about this trip. It's going to be an adventure. I can tell. Traveling is always full of surprises. Enjoy your journey. Hey, do you have any hobbies you enjoy during your free time? Yes, I love painting. It helps me relax and express my creativity. That's great. What type of paintings do you usually create? I mostly focus on landscapes and abstract art. 
How about you? Well, I enjoy playing musical instruments. The guitar is my favorite. That's impressive. How long have you been playing the guitar? I've been playing for about five years now. It's a great way to unwind. Absolutely. Playing music is so therapeutic. Do you play any other instruments? Yes, I also play the piano, although I'm not as proficient in it. How about you? Besides painting, I like gardening. It's therapeutic and helps me connect with nature. That sounds wonderful. What type of plants do you usually grow in your garden? I love growing flowers like roses and tulips, as well as some vegetables like tomatoes. That's fantastic. There's something so satisfying about seeing plants thrive. Definitely. It's a rewarding and fulfilling hobby. It brings me so much joy. I couldn't agree more. Hobbies truly enrich our lives and provide a sense of fulfillment. Good morning. Did you have a good night's sleep? Yes, I slept really well. How about you? I had a bit of trouble falling asleep, but eventually, I managed. That happens sometimes. Did you wake up early today? Yes, I woke up at 7 a.m. What time did you wake up? I woke up at 6.30 a.m. I always try to start my day early. That's impressive. I struggled to get out of bed in the morning. It's all about developing a routine. What do you do next? I usually take a shower and get dressed. How about you? After I wake up, I do some stretching exercises and then shower. That sounds like a good way to start the day. Do you eat breakfast? Yes, I always have a light breakfast. It gives me energy for the day. I usually skip breakfast, but I know it's important to eat something. It definitely makes a difference. So, what's your plan for today? I have to go to work and attend a meeting in the afternoon. You? I have a few errands to run and then I'll be working from home. Sounds like we both have busy days ahead. Well, have a great day. You too. Take care and see you later. Excuse me. Could you help me find the nearest bus stop? Of course. Just go straight ahead and turn left at the traffic lights. Thank you. Is it far from here? Not at all. It's just a five-minute walk from here. Great. And which bus should I take to get to the city center? You can take either bus number 25 or 36. Are they both frequent? I don't want to wait for a long time. Yes, they both run every 15 minutes during peak hours. That's convenient. Can I use my contactless card to pay for the bus fare? Absolutely. Most buses accept contactless payment methods. Perfect. Can you also tell me where I can get off for the city center? Sure. You can get off at the third stop after the shopping mall. Thank you so much for your help. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask. I will. Thanks again. Have a great day. You too. Have a safe journey. Hey, how was your workout today? It was great. I tried a new exercise routine. That's awesome. What kind of workout did you do? I did a combination of cardio and strength training. 
How long did you exercise for? I worked out for about an hour. Wow, that's impressive. Did you feel tired afterwards? Yes, but it's a good kind of tired. I feel accomplished. I can relate. I always feel energized after a good workout. Exercise definitely boosts my mood and reduces stress. Absolutely. It's amazing how it can improve our mental health. I agree. Plus, it helps me stay in shape and maintain my weight. It's important to prioritize our health and fitness, right? Definitely. Regular exercise is key for a balanced lifestyle. Hi. Have you ever thought about going on a vacation? Yes, definitely. I've been itching to travel lately. Where do you suggest? Well, I heard there's a beautiful beach town down south. Want to check it out? Sounds great. What do we need to do to plan the trip? First, we should decide on the dates. Do you have any preferences? How about going in late spring? The weather should be pleasant then. Good idea. We should also book our accommodations in advance. Any preferences? I prefer staying in a cozy bed and breakfast near the beach. How about you? That sounds lovely to me as well. I'll search for some options online. Great. We should also plan some activities and explore the local cuisine. Definitely. I'll make a list of attractions and popular dishes in that area. Let's also make sure we have all the necessary travel documents sorted out. Good point. We'll need to check if we require any visas or vaccinations. And don't forget about travel insurance. Safety first, right? Absolutely. I'll research some reputable insurance providers for our trip. Perfect. I can't wait to embark on this adventure together. Me too. It will be an unforgettable experience, I'm sure. Hey, I'm thinking about going on a trip next month. That sounds exciting. Where are you thinking of going? I want to explore a new city. Maybe somewhere in Europe. Europe sounds fantastic. Have you decided on a specific country? I'm considering Italy or Spain. Both have rich history and culture. Great choices. What kind of activities are you interested in? I love exploring historical sites and trying traditional foods. You should definitely visit Rome if you choose Italy then. Rome is on my list. Are there any specific places I should see? Don't miss the Colosseum and the Vatican City. They're iconic. That sounds amazing. And what about Spain? Any must-sees? Barcelona is a vibrant city with stunning architecture and beaches. Barcelona sounds perfect. What about accommodation options? Are you interested in hotels or maybe trying Airbnb? I'm open to both. Are there any neighborhoods you recommend? For a lively atmosphere, stay in the Gothic Quarter or El Ravel. Thanks for the suggestions. I'll start looking into flights and hotels. You're welcome. Let me know if you need any more information. Will do. I can't wait to plan this trip and experience new cultures. Hey, have you tried any new dishes lately? Yes, I tried cooking a vegetarian curry last night. It was delicious. That sounds interesting. I'm not a big fan of vegetables, though. Really? 
I find vegetarian meals quite satisfying and healthy. I guess I prefer meat-based meals. I love a good steak or grilled chicken. Ah, I see. Well, there's no harm in enjoying both options, right? True. Variety is always good. What about desserts? Do you have any favorites? Oh, I have a sweet tooth. I adore chocolate lava cake and ice cream. Same here. Chocolate desserts are hard to resist. What about spicy food? I can handle a bit of spice, but I can't handle extremely hot dishes. I'm a spice lover. I enjoy adding hot sauce to almost everything. Wow, you must have a high tolerance then. I prefer milder flavors. Everyone has different taste preferences when it comes to food, right? Absolutely. It's what makes the culinary world so diverse and exciting. Hey, what a beautiful day. The sun is shining brightly today. Yes, it's perfect for a picnic or a walk in the park. I love this weather. Me too. I enjoy the warmth and the clear blue sky in the summer. Summer is great, but I also love the cool breeze and colorful leaves in autumn. Autumn is indeed beautiful. Do you have a favorite season? I can't decide between spring and autumn. They both have their own charm. I agree. Spring brings new life and blossoming flowers, while autumn has a cozy feel. Absolutely. And then there's winter, with its snow-covered landscapes and holiday spirit. Winter can be fun, especially during the festive season. How about hot summers? Hot summers can be challenging, but I enjoy swimming and spending time at the beach. That sounds refreshing. I should try that sometime. Any memorable weather events? Hmm, well, I remember a massive thunderstorm that knocked out power for hours. Oh, that must have been quite an experience. I've never been through a major storm. It was intense, but seeing the lightning and hearing the thunder was quite fascinating. I can only imagine. Weather really does have a way of captivating us at times. Hey, did you make any plans for the weekend? Not yet. What do you have in mind? How about going for a hike in the nearby hills? That sounds exciting. I've never been hiking before. It's a great way to enjoy nature and get some exercise. I'm all in. What time should we meet? Let's meet at the trailhead at 10 a.m. on Saturday. Perfect. Should we bring any snacks or water? Definitely. Let's pack some sandwiches and water bottles. Sounds good. Any suggestions on what to wear? Wear comfortable clothes and sturdy shoes for the hike. Got it. I'll dress accordingly. Will there be any fees? No. The trail is free of charge for visitors. Excellent. I'm really looking forward to this weekend. Me too. It'll be a refreshing break from our routines. Hey, I was thinking of hosting a dinner party. Any suggestions for the menu? Sure. How about starting with a refreshing salad? That sounds great. What type of salad would you recommend? Well, how about a mixed green salad with cherry tomatoes and balsamic dressing? Sounds delicious. What could be our main dish then? Something vegetarian, perhaps? How about a creamy mushroom risotto? It's always a crowd pleaser.
That sounds perfect. And for dessert? Something light and fruity, maybe? We could make a fresh fruit salad with a drizzle of honey and a sprinkle of mint. Excellent choice. Now, what about drinks? Any ideas for a special cocktail? A classic mojito always works well. It's refreshing and easy to make. Great. Let's finalize the menu and make a shopping list. I'll note down the ingredients we need. Should we also grab some appetizers? Yes. Let's get some bruschetta and cheese platter for the guests to enjoy while we cook. Perfect. I'm looking forward to our dinner party. It's going to be a fantastic evening. Absolutely. Thanks for your help. I'll send out the invitations right away. Hey, what are your plans for the weekend? I want to go hiking. How about you? That sounds great. I enjoy being in nature. Yeah, it's so relaxing and refreshing. Have you decided which trail to hike? Not yet. Do you have any suggestions? How about the nearby National Park? That's a good idea. Is it easy to reach? Yes, it's just a short drive from here. Perfect. What time should we meet? Let's meet at 9 a.m. at the park entrance. Sounds good. I'll bring some snacks. Great. I'll bring a map and my camera. Awesome. It's going to be a fun day. I can't wait. See you on Saturday. Hi there. I heard you just came back from a trip. Where did you go? Yes, I went to a beautiful country in Europe. It was Portugal. Oh, that sounds amazing. What were some highlights of your trip? Well, I visited Lisbon, the capital city. The architecture there was stunning. I've always wanted to see the famous yellow trams in Lisbon. Did you ride one? Yes, I did. It was a great way to explore the city and take in the views. That's fantastic. Did you have any language barriers while you were there? Not really. Most people spoke English, but I tried to learn some basic Portuguese too. That's smart. How about the food? Did you try any traditional dishes? Absolutely. I had a delicious Portuguese custard tart called Pastel de Nada. So good. Yum. Any other recommendations for someone planning a trip to Portugal? If you love beaches, you should definitely visit the Algarve region. It's stunning. Thanks for sharing your experience. I'm really inspired to plan my own trip now. You should definitely go for it. Traveling opens up so many new experiences. I completely agree. Thanks for the chat, and enjoy reminiscing about your trip. Thank you. It was great talking to you. Have a wonderful day. Hi. Do you have a moment to talk? I need some advice. Of course. What's on your mind? Well, I've been thinking about moving, but I'm not sure where to start. Moving to a new place can be exciting. Have you decided on a city? I'm considering moving to a bigger city for better job opportunities. That sounds like a good plan. Have you checked the rental prices there? Yes, I've been browsing online, but it's hard to find affordable options. It can be tricky, but don't give up. Have you tried looking for roommates? Not yet, but sharing expenses sounds like a good idea. I'll give it a try.
It could help save money and make new friends. Have you thought about location? I want to live close to public transportation, so I can easily commute. That's a smart choice. It will make your daily life much more convenient. I also need to find a pet-friendly place for my cat. It's important to me. Understandable. When you visit potential apartments, make sure to ask. Good point. I'll make a list of questions before scheduling any visits. That's a smart idea. Let me know if you need any more advice or help. Thank you so much for your guidance. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. I'm here to support you throughout your apartment search. Hi, how are you? Do you have any hobbies or interests? I'm good, thank you. Yes, I love playing musical instruments. That's fantastic. Which instrument do you play? I play the guitar and the piano. How about you? I enjoy painting and drawing in my free time. That's great. Have you ever considered selling your artwork? Not really. I do it more for relaxation and self-expression. I understand. Is there any particular style or subject you prefer? I prefer painting landscapes and using watercolors. That sounds lovely. I should take up painting as well. It's a wonderful way to unwind. What else do you enjoy? I also like reading books and practicing yoga. How about you? I love reading too, and I also enjoy hiking and photography. That's wonderful. We seem to have similar interests. Hi. Have you done any shopping lately? Yes, I went to the mall yesterday. How about you? I haven't had the chance yet. How was your experience? It was quite good. The mall had a variety of stores. Did you find everything you were looking for? Mostly. I couldn't find a specific dress I wanted. That's too bad. Did you ask a store assistant for help? Yes, I approached them, but they were not much help. That's disappointing. How about the prices? Were they reasonable? Some items were on sale, so I managed to get good deals. That's great. Were the changing rooms crowded? Surprisingly, no. There was barely any wait at all. That's a relief. Did you make any impulse purchases? Just a few accessories caught my eye, so I bought them. I see. Did you enjoy the overall shopping experience? Definitely. Despite the dress, I had a fun time browsing. That's good to hear. Maybe we can go together next time. Absolutely, it's always more fun to go shopping with a friend. Hey, do you have any plans for the weekend? Not yet, I was thinking of going on a short trip. How about you? I was actually considering the same thing. Any ideas where to go? I heard there's a beautiful national park a few hours away. That sounds interesting. What activities can we do there? We can go hiking, have a picnic by the lake, and even try camping. Camping sounds fun. Do you know if we need to make reservations? I'm not sure, but it's better to check and book in advance, just in case. All right. I'll do some research on the park and make the reservations. Great. Should we bring our own tents and camping gear? Yes, we should. 
It's always better to be prepared. Good point. Do you have any suggestions on what to pack for the trip? We'll need sturdy shoes, warm clothes, and some snacks for the hike. Don't forget insect repellent and sunscreen too. Of course, safety first. Let's make a checklist to ensure we don't forget anything. That sounds like a smart idea. We should also include a first aid kit. Absolutely. I'll handle that. Can you take care of getting a map and directions? Sure. I'll make sure to print out a map and check the best route to the park. Perfect. We're all set then. I can't wait for our weekend adventure. Me too. It's going to be a great break from the daily routine. Hi. How do you stay fit and healthy? I like to mix up my exercise routine. Keeps it interesting. What kind of exercises do you usually do? I enjoy jogging in the morning and doing yoga in the evenings. Oh, I've never tried yoga before. Is it difficult? It can be challenging at first, but it gets easier with practice. I usually go to the gym to lift weights. Have you tried it? Yes, weightlifting is great for building strength. I do it twice a week. Do you have any tips for staying motivated to exercise? Setting specific goals and having a workout buddy keeps me on track. That's a good idea. I struggle with motivation sometimes. It's normal. It helps to find activities you genuinely enjoy. I'll give yoga and weightlifting a try. Where do you do yoga? I follow online classes at home. It's convenient for my schedule. That sounds great. I'll look for beginner yoga videos online. Awesome. Let me know how it goes. We can compare routines. Hey, do you have any tips for staying healthy? Absolutely. Eating a balanced diet is crucial. What exactly do you mean by a balanced diet? It means incorporating different food groups in each meal. Can you give me an example? Sure. A balanced meal could have lean protein, veggies, and whole grains. That sounds good. What about snacks? Snacking on fruits, nuts, or yogurt is a healthier choice. What should we avoid eating? Processed foods high in sugar, salt, and unhealthy fats. Is it okay to indulge in treats sometimes? Occasional treats are fine, but moderation is key. How about drinks? Any suggestions? Water is the best option. Limit sugary sodas and alcohol. Thanks for the advice. I'll start making changes. You're welcome. Small changes can make a big difference. I'm excited to begin this journey towards a healthier lifestyle. Excuse me. Can you help me find the nearest bus station? Of course. Where are you trying to go? I need to get to the city center. Can you tell me the way? Sure. Walk straight for three blocks, then turn left at the traffic light. And after that? Keep walking until you see a big park on your right. Turn right there. Okay, then what should I do? Walk straight for a few more minutes and you'll see the bus station on your left. Thank you. How long does it usually take for the bus to reach the city center? 
It depends on the traffic, but it's usually about 15 to 20 minutes. Are there any landmarks near the bus station that I should look out for? Yes, there's a large supermarket right across the street from the bus station. Great. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Have a safe trip to the city center. Hey, have you heard about the importance of healthy eating habits? Yes, definitely. It's crucial for maintaining overall well-being. I totally agree. So, what do you usually include in a healthy diet? Well, I usually have a variety of fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. That's great. Do you also prefer lean proteins like chicken or fish? Yes, I do. They provide essential nutrients without excess fat. What about dairy products? Do you consume them regularly? Yes, I include low-fat milk, yogurt, and cheese in my diet. That's a good idea. What do you think about limiting processed foods? I think it's important to minimize their intake as they often lack nutrients. Absolutely. And what about sugary drinks? Do you avoid them? Yes, I try to stick to water and unsweetened beverages instead. That's a smart choice. How do you handle cravings for unhealthy snacks? I replace them with nutritious alternatives like fruits or nuts. That's a great strategy. Do you also practice portion control? Yes, I believe in enjoying everything in moderation to maintain balance. That's a wise approach. Overall, maintaining a healthy diet is important, right? Definitely. It not only benefits our physical health but also our mental well-being. Hi there. How have you been lately? Hey, I've been good, thanks. How about you? I've been great too. By the way, I've started working out regularly. That's awesome. What kind of exercises do you do? I've been doing a mix of cardio and strength training. That's a good combination. How often do you exercise? I try to go to the gym five times a week. Wow, that's impressive. Do you have any tips for staying motivated? Definitely. Setting achievable goals and tracking progress helps a lot. I should try that. What about your diet? Any changes there? Yes, I've been eating more fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins. That's a smart move. Do you have cheat days or indulge in any treats? Occasionally, I allow myself small treats, but in moderation. It's all about balance, right? How do you deal with cravings? I try to find healthier alternatives or distract myself with other activities. Sounds like a good strategy. I need to work on my self-control too. It takes time, but you'll get there. Consistency is key. Thanks for the advice. I'll definitely give it a shot. Hi there. Have you had any job interviews recently? Yes, I had one last week for a marketing position. How about you? I have an interview tomorrow for a customer service role. That's great. How did you prepare for your interview? I researched the company, practiced my answers, and dressed professionally. That's important. Did you bring copies of your resume and references? Yes. I brought multiple copies just in case. What about you? I did the same. 
It's always good to be prepared. Any tips for me? Be confident, maintain eye contact, and ask questions about the role. Thanks for the advice. How did you handle the nervousness? I took deep breaths and reminded myself of my qualifications. That's helpful. Did they ask you any unexpected questions? Yes, they asked about a challenging situation and how I handled it. How did you respond to that question? I gave an example from a previous job and explained the outcome. That's a great way to showcase your skills. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. I'll let you know how it goes. Hey, how's your health and fitness routine going? It's been good. I started incorporating more exercises. That's great. What type of exercises do you do? I do a combination of cardio and strength training. How often do you exercise in a week? I try to exercise at least four times a week. Do you have a favorite cardio exercise? Yes, I love running. It really gets my heart pumping. How about strength training? What do you enjoy? I enjoy lifting weights and doing bodyweight exercises. Any specific muscle group you focus on? I concentrate on my arms and core mostly. Do you follow any specific diet along with your exercise routine? I try to eat a balanced diet, focusing on protein and veggies. How do you stay motivated to stick to your routine? I set small achievable goals and reward myself once achieved. That's a great strategy. Any tips for beginners like me? Start with small steps, be consistent, and listen to your body. Thanks for the advice. I'll definitely try to incorporate that. Hey, how's your fitness journey going? It's been good. I've just started setting some fitness goals. That's great. What goals have you set for yourself? Well, my main goal is to lose weight and get in shape. How much weight are you hoping to lose? I'm aiming to lose around 10 kilograms in the next six months. That sounds realistic. How do you plan on achieving it? I'm going to follow a balanced diet and exercise regularly. Have you thought about the type of exercises you want to do? Yes. I want to incorporate a mix of cardio and strength training. That's a good plan. Any specific exercises you have in mind? I enjoy running, so I'll be doing that regularly. And I'll start weightlifting too. Don't forget about rest days. They're just as important. You're right. I'll make sure to schedule rest days to avoid burnout. It's great to see you taking your health seriously. Good luck with your goals. Thank you. I'll keep you updated on my progress. Hi there. How about we have a special dinner tonight? That sounds great. But where should we go? I heard about this new restaurant downtown. It's getting rave reviews. Oh really? What kind of cuisine do they serve? They serve a mix of Italian and Mediterranean dishes. That sounds delicious. What time should we make the reservation for? How about 7 p.m.? I think that should give us plenty of time. Perfect. Shall I make the reservation or would you like to? I can make the reservation. I'll call them right now.
Great. Let's also ask if they can accommodate any dietary restrictions. Good idea. I'll make sure to mention that when I call. Thank you. I'm really looking forward to this dinner. Me too. It's been a while since we had a fancy night out. Indeed. It will be a nice break from our usual routine. I agree. Okay. I'll make the reservation for 2 at 7 p.m. tonight. Wonderful. I can't wait to try out this new restaurant. Hey, what are you up to this weekend? Not much, just taking it easy. How about you? I was thinking of going for a hike. Want to join me? That sounds great. Where were you planning to go? I was thinking of exploring the nearby national park. Oh, I've heard it's beautiful over there. What time are you thinking of leaving? Around 9 in the morning. Would that work for you? Perfect. I'll make sure to set my alarm. Should we bring our own lunch or eat there? We can bring our own sandwiches and have a picnic. Sounds good to me. Do you know how long the hike will be? It's a moderate difficulty trail, so I'd say around three to four hours. All right. I'll make sure to wear comfortable shoes and bring some water. Good idea. We should also bring sunscreen and insect repellent. Absolutely. I don't want any mosquito bites ruining my weekend. Agreed. Let's meet at the park entrance. Looking forward to it. Me too. Thanks for inviting me. See you on Saturday. Hi, what are your hobbies and interests? I really enjoy photography. It's a great way to capture moments. That sounds fascinating. What kind of subjects do you photograph? I mostly focus on landscapes and nature. I find them calming. Do you use any specific equipment for your photography? Yes, I have a digital camera with a variety of lenses for different effects. Have you ever taken any photography classes or workshops? Yes, I attended a photography workshop last year. It was quite helpful. Do you have a favorite photograph that you've taken? There's one of a sunset at the beach that I'm really proud of. That sounds amazing. Have you exhibited your work anywhere? Not yet, but I'm hoping to participate in a local photography exhibition soon. That's great. I'd love to see your photographs someday. Thank you. I'll be sure to share them with you. What about you? What are your hobbies? Good morning. Have you done your morning exercise yet? No, not yet. I usually go for a run around the neighborhood. That's a great way to start the day. How long do you usually run? I try to run for about 30 minutes. It helps me wake up and clear my mind. That sounds nice. I usually do some yoga stretches at home in the morning. Oh, I've always wanted to try yoga. Does it help you feel energized? Definitely. It helps me feel more focused and relaxed throughout the day. Maybe I should give it a try. Do you follow any specific routine or video? I usually follow a YouTube video or an app that guides me through different poses. That's convenient. I will definitely look into it. Do you have any favorite poses? I really enjoy the tree pose and the downward facing dog. They stretch my muscles well. I'll keep that in mind. How often do you do yoga in a week? 
I aim to do it at least three times a week, but sometimes I manage to do it every day. That sounds like a good balance. I'll give it a try and see how it works for me. Great. Let me know if you need any recommendations for beginner-friendly videos. Will do. Thanks for the offer. I'm excited to start incorporating yoga into my routine. You're welcome. It's a wonderful way to take care of both your body and mind. I agree. Thanks for inspiring me to give it a try. Have a great day. You too. Enjoy your morning run. Take care. Thanks. I will. Goodbye. Hey, have you ever been to the beach? Yes, I love the beach. It's so relaxing. I've never been before, but I'd love to go. Well, let's plan a beach trip together then. That sounds great. When do you think we can go? How about next weekend? The weather should be nice. Perfect. Which beach should we go to? Let's choose one that's not too crowded. Agreed. Do you have any recommendations? How about Beachside Cove? It's quiet and beautiful. Sounds ideal. Do we need to bring anything? We should bring towels, sunscreen, and a picnic lunch. Great. How long will the drive be to get there? It's about a two-hour drive from here. Okay, we should leave early then. What time? Let's aim for a 9 a.m. departure. Is that okay? Sounds good. I'll set my alarm. Can't wait. Hi, how was your day? Did you do anything interesting? It was good, thanks. I actually went grocery shopping today. Oh, that's nice. Where did you go? I went to a nearby supermarket. It has a wide variety of products. What did you buy? Anything special? I bought fresh vegetables, fruits, bread, and some dairy products. Did you find everything you needed? Yes, luckily everything was available. The store was well stocked. That's great. Did you use a shopping list? Yes, I always make a list to stay organized and not forget anything. Smart idea. How did you pay? Cash or card? I prefer using my card. It's more convenient and safer. Did you bring your own bags for groceries? Yes, I always carry reusable bags to reduce plastic waste. That's commendable. Did you have any difficulty finding items? Not really, the store is well arranged, and the staff is helpful. That's good to know. I'll have to check it out sometime. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How about you? I'm great, thanks. I've been focusing on my health lately. That's awesome. What changes have you made? Well, I've started exercising regularly. That's a good start. What type of exercise do you do? I've been going running in the mornings. Running is a great way to stay fit. How long do you run? I usually run for about 30 minutes each day. That's impressive. Do you do anything else for fitness? Yes, I also do strength training twice a week. Strength training is important too. Where do you do it? I go to a nearby gym. They have all the equipment I need. That's convenient. What about your diet? 
Have you made any changes? Definitely. I've started eating more fruits and vegetables. That's a smart choice. Any other changes to your diet? I've also cut down on sugary drinks and processed foods. That's great. How do you feel after making these changes? I feel more energized and healthier overall. That's fantastic. Keep up the good work. Thanks. I'm determined to maintain these healthy habits. Hi. Have you ever traveled abroad? I'm thinking of planning a trip. Yes, I have. Where are you thinking of going? I'm considering a European destination. Any recommendations? How about Italy? It has stunning scenery and rich history. That sounds great. What are the must-visit cities in Italy? Rome, Florence, and Venice are popular choices. Each has its own charm. I've heard about the gondola rides in Venice. Are they worth it? Definitely. It's a unique experience to explore the city's canals that way. What about accommodation? Are there any affordable options? Yes, you can find budget hotels or consider staying in a bed and breakfast. That sounds reasonable. How should I plan my itinerary for the trip? Start with the main attractions and leave some time for spontaneous exploration. Good idea. Should I book the attractions in advance? It's advisable for popular attractions to avoid long queues. Thanks for the advice. I'll start researching and planning my trip now. You're welcome. I hope you have an amazing time exploring Italy. Hey, how have you been spending your free time lately? I've been exploring new hobbies. What about you? I've been trying my hand at painting. It's quite relaxing. That's great. What kind of paintings have you been doing? Mostly landscapes and still life. I find nature inspiring. Sounds fascinating. Have you joined any art classes? No, I've been learning through online tutorials and books. That's impressive. I've always wanted to try painting too. You should give it a shot. It's a great way to express yourself. I'll definitely consider it. Any other hobbies you enjoy? I also enjoy gardening. It's therapeutic and rewarding. I've been thinking about starting a small garden too. You should. It's really satisfying to watch plants grow. I'll take your advice and give it a try. Thanks for sharing. Hey, how was your weekend? Did you do anything interesting? It was great. I went hiking with some friends. What about you? I stayed in and binge watched a new TV series. Which trail did you go to? We went to Green Valley Trail. The views were breathtaking. That sounds amazing. I should join you guys next time. Definitely. We're planning another hiking trip next month. Count me in. So, apart from hiking, what other activities do you enjoy? I love going to the beach and playing volleyball with my family. That sounds like a lot of fun. I haven't been to the beach in ages. Why don't we plan a beach day next weekend? It'll be a blast. That's a great idea. I'll bring some snacks and drinks. Awesome. Let's invite our friends and make it a memorable day. Hey, how about we plan a weekend getaway? Sounds great. 
Where do you suggest we go? How about a beach destination? It's perfect for relaxation. That sounds refreshing. Which beach are you thinking of? Let's go to the seaside town that we visited last summer. Oh, I loved that place. It had a beautiful coastline. Exactly. We can enjoy swimming and sunbathing there. Should we book a beachfront hotel for the weekend? That's a good idea. It's convenient and offers great views. I'll check for available accommodations online. Don't forget to see if they have any special deals. Of course, we should take advantage of any discounts. Once we have the hotel sorted, we can plan our activities. I'm excited to explore the local seafood restaurants too. Hey, I'm thinking about planning a trip next month. Any suggestions on where to go? Sure. How about exploring a historical city in our country? That sounds interesting. Which city would you recommend? I'd suggest visiting York. It has a rich history and fascinating architecture. Great idea. How should we get there? By train or by car? I think taking the train would be more convenient. It's a scenic journey, too. All right. Let's book train tickets. Do you know how much they cost? I'm not sure about the exact price, but I can look it up online for us. That would be helpful. I'll start looking for accommodation in York then. Good plan. Consider staying near the city center for easy access to attractions. Will do. How many days do you think we should spend exploring York? I would say at least three days to fully experience the city's charm. Sounds reasonable. Are there any must-see attractions we shouldn't miss? Definitely visit York Minster, Clifford's Tower, and the Shambles. Noted. Oh, and what about local restaurants? Any recommendations? The Golden Lion and Betty's Tea Room are popular choices among tourists. Perfect. I'll make a list of places to eat as well. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Let me know if you need any more information or assistance. Hey, how's your day going so far? It's been quite busy, but manageable. What about you? I had a hectic morning, but things are starting to calm down now. That's good to hear. So, what's your usual daily routine like? Well, I usually wake up at 7 a.m. and start my day with a quick workout. Impressive. I struggle to get out of bed that early. What do you do next? After working out, I grab a quick shower and have a healthy breakfast. Nice. What kind of breakfast do you usually have? I usually opt for oatmeal with fruits or a protein smoothie. Sounds healthy. What do you do after breakfast? I head off to work, which usually starts at 9 a.m. How about you? My work starts a bit later, so I have some time to relax in the morning. That's great. Any specific activities you enjoy during your free time? I usually catch up on my favorite TV shows or read a book. Nice. I love reading too. How long do you usually spend on that? It depends on my schedule, but I try to allocate at least an hour. That's a good way to unwind. Anything else interesting about your routine? Well, in the evening, I like to cook dinner and spend time with my family. 
That sounds wonderful and fulfilling. I should try incorporating that too. Definitely. It's a great way to bond and relax at the end of the day. You're right. Thanks for sharing your daily routine. I'll take some inspiration from it. You're welcome. Let me know if you have any more questions. Hi there. Have you thought about your next vacation? Yes, I've been meaning to plan a trip. How about you? I've been wanting to explore a new country. Any ideas? How about Italy? It's known for its rich history and cuisine. Italy sounds intriguing. What cities would you recommend? Rome, Florence, and Venice are popular choices. What do you think? Those cities sound amazing. I'd love to visit all three. It's definitely doable. How long are you planning to stay? I'm thinking about two weeks. Is that enough time? Yes, that should be sufficient. Are you planning a solo trip? No, I'm going with my partner. We're both excited for it. That's great. It's always fun to travel with loved ones. Absolutely. Any tips on finding good accommodation? Look for centrally located hotels or vacation rentals online. Will do. I can't wait to start planning this unforgettable trip. Hey, have you ever tried different workout routines? Yes, I've experimented with a few. How about you? I usually stick to cardio exercises like running and cycling. That's great for overall fitness. I prefer strength training. Really? What kind of exercises do you do for that? I mostly focus on weightlifting, like squats and deadlifts. I've heard those are good for building strength and toning muscles. Absolutely. They help me build my endurance and improve my posture too. I think I should incorporate more strength training into my routine. It's worth a try. You'll see some great results. Do you also do any flexibility exercises? Yes. I do some yoga and stretching exercises to improve my flexibility. I've always wanted to try yoga. Any recommendations for beginners? You could start with a beginner's yoga class or follow online tutorials. I'll definitely give it a shot. It sounds like a good addition to my routine. It's a great way to relax and improve your overall well-being too. Thanks for the advice. I'll let you know how it goes. No problem. Good luck with your fitness journey. Hi there. What's your favorite type of cuisine? Oh, I love anything spicy. Mexican food is my top choice. How about you? I'm more into Italian dishes. Pasta and pizza are my weakness. That's great. I enjoy a good pasta too, especially with creamy sauces. Have you ever tried any exotic dishes from different cultures? Yes, I've had Thai food before. The combination of flavors is incredible. I agree, Thai cuisine is delicious. Have you ever tried cooking it yourself? No, I haven't, but I would love to learn some authentic recipes. How about you? I've attempted a few Italian recipes at home. It's quite fun to experiment. That sounds interesting. What's your favorite Italian dish to make? I enjoy making homemade lasagna. It can be time-consuming, but it's worth it. I've always wanted to try making lasagna from scratch. Any tips? 
The key is to layer the ingredients properly and bake it slowly for more flavor. Thanks for the advice. Maybe we can have a cooking session together sometime? That sounds like a plan. We can exchange recipes and have a great time. Hi, I heard you're planning a trip. Where are you thinking of going? Yes, I am. I'm considering visiting Thailand. Have you been there before? No, I haven't, but it sounds amazing. When are you planning to go? I'm thinking of going next month. It's the perfect time to enjoy their beaches. That sounds like a great idea. How long are you planning to stay? I'm planning to stay for two weeks. I want to explore as much as I can. That's a good amount of time. Have you started looking for flights? Yes, I've been searching online for the best deals. There are a few options. Have you thought about accommodations? Are you going to stay in hotels? I'm considering both hotels and Airbnb. I want to compare prices and locations. Smart move. Are there any specific attractions or activities you want to do? I definitely want to visit the Grand Palace in Bangkok and explore the islands. That sounds amazing. Don't forget to try the local food while you're there. Oh, I won't. I've heard their street food is a must try. I'm so excited. I can tell. It's going to be an unforgettable trip. Enjoy your preparations. Good morning. What a lovely day we have today. Yes, the sun is shining brightly. It's perfect for a walk. Definitely. By the way, have you noticed the changing seasons? Yes, autumn is finally here. The leaves are starting to turn. It's my favorite season. I love the colors and cool breeze. Same here. It's a nice break from the hot summer days. I know what you mean. So, what's your least favorite season? I would have to say winter. I don't like the cold and snow. Understandable. Winter can be challenging, but the holidays are nice. That's true. Do you have any favorite activities for each season? In spring, I enjoy gardening and watching flowers bloom. How about you? Summer is perfect for swimming and going to the beach. I love it. Sounds fun. I also like hiking during the cool days of autumn. That's a great way to enjoy the beautiful scenery. I should try it. Definitely. Each season has its own charm and opportunities. Absolutely. I appreciate the variety that comes with the changing seasons. Hi there. Have you done any clothes shopping recently? Yes, I actually went shopping last weekend. How about you? Oh, I've been meaning to update my wardrobe. Where did you go? I went to a department store nearby. They had a great selection. That sounds promising. Did you find anything you liked? Yes, I found a lovely dress for an upcoming special event. That's great. Did you have any trouble finding your size? Surprisingly, no. They had a variety of sizes available. That's always a relief. How about the prices? Were they reasonable? Yes, most of the items were reasonably priced. I got a good deal. I'm glad to hear that. I prefer not to spend too much on clothes. I understand. It's always good to find affordable options. Definitely. Did you have any particular style in mind while shopping? 
Yes, I was looking for something elegant yet comfortable. Ah, I see. Did you find any accessories to go with your dress? Yes, I found a matching necklace and earrings. It completed the look. Sounds perfect. I'll check out that store you mentioned. Thanks. You're welcome. I hope you find some great additions to your wardrobe. Hi there. Are you heading to this country for the first time? Yes, it's my first time here. I'm quite excited. That's great. Did you have a smooth flight? Yes, the flight was comfortable, but the landing was a bit bumpy. Oh, I hope you're feeling all right now. Did you get your luggage? Yes, thankfully my suitcase arrived with me. How about you? Mine took a while, but I finally found it. Did anyone meet you at the airport? No, I'm traveling solo. I'll figure out transportation on my own. That's brave. Do you plan to take a taxi or use public transport? I think I'll grab a taxi to my hotel since it's my first time here. Good idea. Make sure to negotiate the fare before getting in. Will do. Do you have any recommendations for sightseeing? Definitely. The city has many historical landmarks. I can give you a list. That would be great. I'm grateful for any recommendations you have. No problem. Let's find a spot to sit and I'll jot them down for you. Hi there. Have you made any plans for the weekend? Not yet. I'm still thinking about what to do. How about you? I was thinking of going hiking. It's been a while since I went outdoors. That sounds fun. Where were you thinking of going? There's a nature reserve nearby called Green Valley. It's quite beautiful. Oh, I've heard of that place. I've always wanted to visit. Can I join you? Sure. The more, the merrier. We can start early in the morning. Great. Should we bring lunch or do you know any good restaurants nearby? We can pack our own lunch. There's a picnic area in the reserve. Saves money too. That's a good idea. I'll bring some sandwiches. What else should we bring? We should carry enough water, sunscreen, and bug spray. Safety first. Absolutely. I'll make sure we have all the essentials. What time should we meet? Let's meet at the entrance of Green Valley at 8 a.m. Does that work for you? 8 a.m. sounds perfect. I'll set my alarm. Looking forward to it. Me too. It's going to be a great weekend. See you then. Hey, have you thought about our holiday plans? Yeah, I've been considering a beach getaway. That sounds relaxing. Which beach are you thinking of? I was thinking about going to a secluded beach in Hawaii. Oh, Hawaii sounds amazing. What activities can we do there? We can go snorkeling, hiking, and even try surfing. Great. How long are you planning to stay? Around a week. That should be enough to unwind. Perfect. Do we have any budget restrictions for this trip? I think we can manage within a moderate budget. That's good to hear. Shall we start looking for accommodation? Yes, let's search for beachfront villas or cozy cottages. All right, I'll also check for any flight deals we can get. Excellent, we can split the research and compare options. Sounds like a plan. I'm excited for this vacation.
Me too. It's going to be a memorable one for sure. Hi there. How's your day going? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? I'm doing well. Hey, do you have any hobbies? Yeah, I actually have a few. How about you? I love playing the guitar and cooking. What about you? I enjoy painting and gardening in my free time. That's interesting. How did you get into painting? Well, I've always loved art since I was a child. Did you take any art classes to improve your skills? No, I'm mostly self-taught. I watch tutorials online. That's impressive. Do you have a favorite style of painting? I like experimenting with different styles, but I lean towards Impressionism. That's cool. I've always admired people who can paint. Hey there. How was your week? Hi. It was all right. Looking forward to the weekend though. How about you? Same here. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Not yet. I was thinking of exploring a new neighborhood. How about you? That sounds fun. I'm actually planning to go hiking. Want to join me? Oh, I'd love to. But I'm not really into hiking. Any other ideas? No worries. How about visiting a local museum? They have a new exhibit. That sounds interesting. Which museum are you talking about? It's the one near the city center. They have both modern and historical exhibits. That's the perfect choice then. Let's meet there on Saturday afternoon. Great. Are you interested in grabbing a bite to eat after the museum? Absolutely. I've heard about a great cafe nearby. We can try it out. Sounds good. Let's meet at the museum in trance around 2 o'clock then. Perfect. I'm looking forward to it. See you on Saturday. Hey, how was your trip to Europe? Any interesting stories? Oh, it was quite an adventure. I actually lost my luggage. No way. That must have been so frustrating. What happened? Well, when I arrived in Paris, my bags didn't show up on the carousel. That's terrible. Did you talk to the airline staff about it? Yes, I went to the lost luggage counter and filled out a report. Did they give you any information on when you might get your bags back? They said it could take up to 48 hours for them to locate and deliver it. How did you manage without your stuff in the meantime? I had a change of clothes in my carry-on, so I survived for a few days. That's lucky. Did you have any important items in your lost bag? Thankfully, no. Just some clothes, toiletries, and souvenirs. Did you have travel insurance to cover any expenses related to the loss? Yes, luckily I did. I'll have to make a claim once I'm back home. Well, I'm glad you had insurance. Did you end up finding your luggage? Yes, fortunately, the airline delivered it to my hotel after three days. That must have been a relief. Did you enjoy the rest of your trip? Definitely. Despite the luggage mishap, I had an amazing time exploring. That's great to hear. Hopefully, your next trip will be smoother. Absolutely. I'll make sure to keep a closer eye on my bags next time. Hey, how was your weekend? Do anything interesting?
Yeah, I picked up a new hobby. I started painting. That's awesome. What kind of paintings are you working on? Right now, I'm into landscapes. I find them really relaxing. I've always wanted to try painting. Any tips for beginners? Definitely. Start with simple objects and experiment with colors. Good advice. I might give it a go. What else do you enjoy? Well, I'm also an avid reader. I love getting lost in novels. Me too. Do you have any favorite genres or authors? I'm a big fan of mystery novels, especially Agatha Christie. Agatha Christie is great. Have you read all of her books? Not yet, but I'm working on it. What about you? Any hobbies? I enjoy playing guitar in my free time. It helps me relax. That's cool. How long have you been playing, and do you perform? I've been playing for about five years now, and I occasionally perform at local cafes. Impressive. I'd love to hear you play sometime. Thanks. Maybe I can perform at the next social gathering. Hey, have you ever thought about traveling abroad? Yes, I've always wanted to explore different cultures. Why? Well, I'm thinking about planning a trip to Europe. That sounds exciting. Which countries are you considering? I'm torn between Italy and France. They both have rich history. Italy is known for its delicious food and breathtaking landscapes. I agree, but France has iconic landmarks like the Eiffel Tower. True, you can't miss seeing the Louvre Museum either. I've also heard that Italy has stunning architecture. Absolutely. Rome alone has so many ancient ruins to explore. How about transportation? Should I go by train or plane? It depends on your budget and how much time you have. I'm willing to spend a bit more for convenience. Then flying would be the faster option for you. That makes sense. I'll start looking into flight prices then. Good morning. How was your day? Good morning. It was great, thanks. I went grocery shopping today. Oh, nice. Where did you go to buy groceries? I went to the neighborhood supermarket. That's convenient. What did you buy? I bought fruits, vegetables, dairy products, and some snacks. Did you find everything you needed? Yes, for the most part. But they didn't have my favorite cereal. Oh, that's a bummer. Did you ask the staff for help? Yes, I did. They suggested a similar brand, but I passed on it. I see. Did you find any good deals or discounts? Yes, I bought some items on sale and used a few coupons too. Smart move. Is there anything else you need to buy? Not really. I think I'm done for the week. Great. Are you ready to head home then? Yes, I am. Let's go. I need help carrying the groceries. Hi, I heard you love traveling. Have any trips planned? Yes, I'm thinking about visiting a new country. How about you? I've been considering a beach getaway. Any recommendations? Well, I've heard Costa Rica has beautiful beaches and rainforests. That sounds amazing. How do you usually find information on travel destinations? 
I usually search online travel websites and read reviews from other travelers. Good idea. I'll definitely do some research before making a decision. It's important to plan the budget too. How do you usually save money on travel? I usually try to find discounts on flights, accommodations, and activities. Smart. Do you have any tips for packing efficiently for a trip? Yes. I always make a packing list and only bring essentials to save space. That's a great tip. I'll make sure to do the same for my next trip. Let's keep each other updated on our travel plans. It'll be fun to share experiences. Absolutely. I can't wait to hear about your beach getaway and share my adventures too. Hey, how was your trip to London? Did everything go smoothly? Well, it started great, but I had a little mishap at the airport. Oh no, what happened? I lost my luggage. It didn't arrive with my flight. That must have been stressful. What did you do? I immediately went to the lost baggage counter and filled out a report. Did they have any idea where your luggage might be? They said it might have been misplaced during my connecting flight. That's frustrating. Did they give you any information? Yes, they gave me a reference number and assured me they would search for it. Did they give you an estimate on how long it might take to find it? They said it could take up to a day or two to locate and deliver it to me. Well, at least there's hope. Did you have any essentials in your carry-on? Luckily, I packed a change of clothes and some toiletries just in case. That's a good idea. Hopefully, they find your luggage soon. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. I'm doing well, thank you. How about you? I'm great, thanks. I actually need to go grocery shopping later. Any tips? Of course. Remember to make a list before you go, it helps a lot. That's a good idea. I always end up forgetting something. It happens to the best of us. Also, try to go early to avoid crowds. I'll keep that in mind. Do you have a favorite grocery store? There's a local one near my house that I really like. It has good prices. Sounds perfect. Is it easy to find everything you need there? Definitely. They have a wide variety of products, so it's very convenient. That's great to hear. Do you have any recommendations for healthy snacks? I love buying fruits, nuts, and yogurt. They're tasty and good for you. I'll add those to my list. What about fresh produce? Any tips on choosing? Look for fruits and vegetables that are firm and without any blemishes. I'll keep an eye out for that. Is there anything else I should be aware of? Just remember to check the expiration dates and compare prices if needed. Thank you so much for the advice. I feel more prepared now. You're welcome. Good luck with your grocery shopping, and enjoy your day. Thanks again. Have a wonderful day too. Hi, have you ever traveled outside of our country? Yes, I've been to a few different places. Why do you ask? I'm thinking about planning a trip abroad. Where should I start? Well, first you should decide on a destination. Any preferences? I've always wanted to visit Europe. Maybe somewhere like Italy? Great choice. 
Once you have a destination, check visa requirements. Right. I'll make sure to do that. What about booking flights? Look for deals online or consider using a travel agent. I'll check both options. And what about accommodation? You can try booking a hotel or renting an apartment. I'll research both options and their costs. Any other advice? Don't forget travel insurance and exchange some currency. Good point. I'll look into that as well. Thanks for your help. No problem. Let me know if you need any more tips. Have fun. Hi there. How was your weekend? It was great. I finally had time for my hobbies. That's awesome. What hobbies do you enjoy? I'm into photography and playing the guitar. How about you? I like painting and cooking in my free time. That sounds interesting. How did you get into painting? Well, I always enjoyed art classes in school, so I continued it as a hobby. That's cool. What kind of paintings do you usually create? I'm mostly into landscapes and still life. What about you, photography-wise? I mainly focus on nature and street photography. That must be exciting. Do you have a favorite spot for photography? Not particularly. I enjoy exploring new places to capture unique shots. That makes sense. Have you ever showcased your work somewhere? Not yet, but I'm building up my portfolio for future exhibitions. That's commendable. It's important to pursue our passions. Hi, have you ever thought about taking a vacation? Yes, I have. I've been wanting to plan one for a while now. That sounds great. Where would you like to go? I'm thinking about going to a tropical beach destination. Oh, nice. Any specific country in mind? I was considering Thailand or Bali. They look amazing. Both are great choices. When are you planning to go? I'm aiming for next summer when the weather is perfect. Sounds like a good plan. How long do you want to stay? I think around two weeks would be ideal. That should give you enough time to relax and explore. Definitely. I want to make the most of my vacation. Have you looked into flights and accommodations yet? Not yet, but I'll start researching soon. Any tips? Look for flight deals and check reviews for accommodations. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Let me know if you need any more help. Will do. I can't wait to have an amazing vacation. Hey, have you ever thought about taking a weekend getaway? Yeah, actually. I could use a break. Where do you suggest we go? How about a coastal city? We could relax on the beach and enjoy the ocean breeze. That sounds amazing. Which city specifically? What about Brighton? It's known for its vibrant atmosphere and beautiful coastline. Great idea. How can we get there? Should we drive or take public transportation? I think driving would give us more flexibility. Plus, we can enjoy the scenic route. Sounds good to me. Do you think we should book accommodation in advance? Definitely. It's always better to be prepared. I'll check out some hotels online. What other activities can we do besides lounging at the beach? 
We could explore the local art scene and visit the Brighton Pier for some amusement. Awesome! Any popular restaurants we should try while we're there? I've heard great things about a seafood restaurant called the Lobster Pot. Let's try it. Sounds like a plan. Should we pack anything specific for the trip? Don't forget your swimsuit and sunscreen. Oh, and a good book for the beach. Will do. I can't wait for this little getaway. It's going to be so refreshing. Me neither. Let's make the most of our weekend and create wonderful memories. Hey, have you heard? I'm looking for a new place to live. Oh, really? That's exciting. What kind of apartment are you looking for? Well, I'd like a two-bedroom apartment with lots of natural light. That sounds nice. Which neighborhoods are you considering? Those are all great choices. How much are you willing to spend on rent? I'm hoping to find something affordable, around $1,200 a month. That seems reasonable. Have you started searching online yet? Yes, I've been browsing some real estate websites. There are quite a few options. That's good. Are you planning to attend any open houses soon? Yes, I scheduled a few viewings for this weekend. Hopefully, I'll find something I like. That's great. Do you have any specific needs or preferences for the apartment? Well, apart from the two bedrooms, I'd like a balcony and a laundry room. Those are nice features to have. I hope you find the perfect apartment soon. Thanks. I appreciate your support. I'll keep you updated on my apartment search. Hi Sarah. How was your day? Hi Mark. It was good. I just went grocery shopping. That's great. Did you find everything you needed? Yes, I managed to get all the items on my list. Did you have any trouble finding specific things? Well, I couldn't find fresh basil, but everything else was there. Did you have to wait in line for a long time? Surprisingly, no. The store wasn't too crowded today. That's lucky. Did you get any discounts or deals? I used a few coupons and got some items at a lower price. That's smart shopping. Did you buy any snacks? Yes, I bought some chips and cookies for movie night. Sounds delicious. Did you remember to buy milk? Yes, I bought a gallon of milk and some yogurt too. Great. We were running low on dairy products. Thanks. You're welcome. Anything else you need from the store? Not right now, but I'll let you know if I do. Thanks again. Hi there. Have you decided what to order for dinner? Not yet. I'm thinking of trying something new today. How about you? I'm craving for some Italian food. How about we go to that new place downtown? That sounds good. What type of Italian dishes do they serve? They have a variety of pasta dishes, pizzas, and some delicious appetizers. Great. I'm in the mood for pasta. Do they have any vegetarian options? Absolutely. They have a vegetarian pasta with grilled vegetables and creamy tomato sauce. Sounds delicious. What about their pizza options? Any recommendations? Their signature pizza is topped with fresh mozzarella, cherry tomatoes, and basil leaves. That sounds tempting. I'll definitely give it a try. 
Can we also order a side salad? Of course. They have a mixed green salad with balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Perfect. Let's also order a bottle of sparkling water to accompany our meal. Sounds like a plan. I'll call the waiter over and place our order. Thank you. I can't wait to taste the food. Hi. Have you thought about where you'll stay during your trip? Yes, I'm thinking of booking a hotel room. Any advice? Well, it depends on your preferences. Want a hotel near the city center? Yes, that would be great. I want to be close to all the attractions. All right. Let me check some options for you. How many nights will you stay? I'll be staying for three nights. From the 15th to the 18th of next month. Got it. How many adults will be staying in the room? Just one adult. It's a solo trip. Perfect. Do you have any specific requirements, like a double bed or a bathtub? I'd prefer a queen size bed and a bathtub, if possible. Noted. Let me search for available hotels that match your preferences. Thank you. I appreciate it. Price is also an important factor for me. Understood. I'll filter the search results based on your budget range. Great. I trust your judgment. Take your time to find the best option. Thank you. I'll send you a list of suitable hotels, and you can choose one. That sounds perfect. I'll wait for your message. Thanks for your help. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm good. Thanks for asking. What about you? I'm doing well too. So, what's your daily routine like? Well, I usually wake up at 7 a.m. and go for a run. That sounds healthy. Do you have breakfast after that? Yes, I usually have a bowl of cereal and a cup of coffee. What time do you start work? I start work at 9 a.m. How about you? I start a bit earlier, at 8.30 a.m. What do you do during your lunch break? I usually have lunch at a nearby cafe with my colleagues. That sounds nice. I usually bring my lunch from home. Do you have any hobbies or activities after work? Yes, I enjoy reading books and going for walks in the park. That sounds relaxing. What time do you go to bed? I try to go to bed around 11 p.m. What about you? I'm more of a night owl, so I usually go to bed around midnight. That's interesting. Well, it was nice chatting with you. Likewise. Have a great day ahead. Hi there. Have you tried cooking anything new lately? Actually, I recently tried out a new recipe for dinner. That sounds exciting. What dish did you decide to make? I made a roasted vegetable quinoa salad with lemon dressing. Wow, that sounds healthy and delicious. How did it turn out? It turned out really well, actually. The flavors were amazing. Did you follow the recipe exactly or make any changes? I followed most of the recipe, but I added some extra spices. That's a great idea. What spices did you use? I added some cumin, paprika, and a touch of chili powder. That sounds like it would give the salad a nice kick. Yes, it definitely added some depth to the flavors.
I might have to give that recipe a try myself sometime. I highly recommend it. It's an easy and nutritious meal. Thanks for sharing. I'll be sure to ask you for the recipe. Absolutely. I'd be happy to share it with you anytime. Hey, do you want to plan a picnic for this weekend? That sounds like a great idea. Where should we go? How about having it in my garden? It's spacious and peaceful. That sounds perfect. What time should we meet? Let's meet at 11 a.m. That way we can enjoy the whole day. Sounds good. What should we bring for the picnic? We should bring a blanket, some sandwiches, and fruits. I'll also bring some chips and drinks. Anything else? Maybe some games like a frisbee or a volleyball? That sounds fun. I'll bring a frisbee. What about music? We can bring a portable speaker and play some relaxing tunes. Great idea. Should we invite anyone else to join us? We can ask our friends John and Sarah. They love picnics. Sounds good. I'll invite them. Should we bring any dessert? We can each bring a dessert to share. It'll be a sweet addition. Perfect. I'll bring brownies. Anything else we need to plan? Just make sure to bring sunscreen and insect repellent. Will do. I'm looking forward to our garden picnic this weekend. Hey, I've been craving a little adventure lately. Me too. How about we plan a weekend getaway? That sounds perfect. Where should we go? How about a cozy cabin in the mountains? That sounds amazing. Can we do some hiking? Definitely. We can explore trails and enjoy nature. Should we bring our own tents or rent a cabin? Let's rent a cabin for a more comfortable experience. Great idea. How should we get there? We can carpool or take a scenic train ride. I prefer carpooling. It'll be more flexible. Agreed. I'll check for available cabins in book one. Perfect. Let's pack light for a stress-free trip. Absolutely. I'll create a checklist for us to follow. Awesome. I can't wait for our adventure to begin. Hi there. Did you do anything special for your birthday? Yes. I had a small gathering with my closest friends and family. That sounds lovely. How did you celebrate? We had a delicious homemade dinner and some tasty desserts. Oh, what kind of dinner did you have? Any favorite dishes? We had grilled chicken, roasted vegetables, and a creamy pasta. Yummy! And what about the desserts? Anything unique? I made a chocolate cake with layers of caramel and a vanilla buttercream frosting. Wow, that sounds amazing. I'm getting hungry just thinking about it. It was definitely a hit. Everyone enjoyed it, especially the kids. Did you receive any presents that you really liked? Yes, my sister gifted me a new book that I've been wanting to read. That's great. What is the book about? It's a thriller novel set in a small town with a mysterious plot. Sounds intriguing. I might have to borrow it once you're done. Sure. I'd love to lend it to you. So, have you had a birthday party recently? Not yet, but mine is coming up soon. I'm still figuring out the plans. Well, 
I hope you have a fantastic celebration just like mine. Thank you. I'll definitely take some inspiration from your party. Hey, have you considered planning a weekend getaway? Yes, I think it's a great idea. Where do you suggest we go? How about exploring a nearby national park? It would be a refreshing experience. That sounds exciting. Which national park would you recommend? Well, I heard good things about Green Valley National Park. Oh, what activities can we do there? We can go hiking, bird watching, and have a picnic by the lake. That sounds perfect. Should we research accommodation options too? Definitely. We can look for cozy cabins or a charming bed and breakfast. Sounds good. Let's make sure we book in advance to secure our spot. Sure. I'll start researching and compare prices for our preferred dates. Great. And don't forget to check if they have any special offers or discounts. Good point. I'll also read reviews to ensure we choose a reputable place. Perfect. Once we finalize everything, we can plan our itinerary for the trip. Absolutely. We should make the most out of our time there and explore everything. Hi, have you been grocery shopping lately? Yes, I went yesterday. It was quite busy. How about you? I need to go soon. Any tips for navigating the crowds? Definitely try to go early in the morning or late in the evening. It's less crowded then. Good advice. What else should I keep in mind while shopping? Make a list beforehand and stick to it. It helps avoid unnecessary purchases. That's a great idea. Do you have any favorite grocery stores? I usually go to the one closest to my house. It's convenient. Is it important to compare prices at different stores? It depends on your budget. Sometimes, other stores have better deals. I see. How do you decide what fruits and vegetables to buy? I choose ones that are fresh and in season, they tend to taste better. Makes sense. How about canned goods or packaged foods? I always check the expiration dates and ingredients before buying. I'm trying to eat healthier. Any healthy snack suggestions? Nuts, yogurt, and fresh fruits are great options for healthier snacking. Noted. What should I do if something I need is out of stock? Ask a store employee if they can suggest a suitable substitute. Good idea. Lastly, any tips for carrying all the groceries home? I usually bring reusable bags or a sturdy cart for easier transportation. Thanks for the advice. I feel more prepared for my shopping trip now. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help. Have a successful shopping trip. Good morning. Have you ever thought about going on a weekend trip? Hey, that sounds like a great idea. Where would you suggest going? How about exploring a nearby national park? It could be a refreshing change. That sounds intriguing. Which national park are you referring to? Well, there's Bellwood National Park. It's known for its beautiful trails and wildlife. Oh, I've heard of it. Is it easily accessible by public transportation? Yes, it's only a couple of hours away by train. We can catch the early morning one. Sounds convenient. 
What kind of activities can we do once we reach there? We can go hiking, have a picnic by the lake, and even try some bird watching. That all sounds fantastic. Should we book accommodation in advance? Definitely. I think it's wise to reserve a cabin or campsite before we go. All right, I'll take care of that. Do we need to pack anything specific for the trip? Comfortable clothes, sturdy shoes, insect repellent, and a camera would be essential. Noted. Let's set a budget for the trip. How much should we allocate? Since it's just a weekend getaway, let's keep it reasonable, maybe around $200. That sounds doable. I'll make sure we don't exceed that. Anything else we need to plan? I think that covers it. We can discuss the finer details later. Excited for the trip. Me too. It's been a while since we had an adventure. Can't wait to explore nature. Hi there. My name's Alex. What's your name? Hi Alex, I'm Sarah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Sarah. Are you from around here? No, I'm actually new to this city. How about you? I've been living here for a couple of years now. That's great. Any recommendations for places to visit? Well, there's a lovely park nearby with beautiful trails. That sounds nice. Maybe we could go there sometime. Sure, I'd love to. Do you enjoy outdoor activities? Yes, I do. Hiking and cycling are my favorites. Great, we could plan a hiking trip to the park soon. That sounds wonderful. I look forward to it, Alex. Me too, Sarah. It'll be a great opportunity to bond. Absolutely. It's always fun making new friends. Agreed. So, what other hobbies do you have, Sarah? Hi there. Have you tried any new recipes lately? Yes, I actually discovered a delicious pasta dish. That sounds interesting. What's in it? Well, it's a creamy garlic mushroom pasta with spinach. Yum! Can you share the recipe? I'd love to try it. Sure, it's quite simple. First, you saute garlic and mushrooms. How long do you cook them for? Just until the mushrooms are tender and slightly browned. Got it. What's next? You add cream, grated parmesan, and a handful of spinach. Sounds creamy and flavorful. How do you finish it off? Once the sauce thickens, you toss it with cooked pasta. I can already imagine the aroma. Any garnish or seasonings? I usually sprinkle some black pepper and fresh parsley on top. Thanks for sharing. I can't wait to try this recipe soon. You're welcome. Let me know how it turns out for you. Enjoy. Hi. How's your week been so far? It's been quite busy, but I'm excited for the weekend. How about you? Same here. I've been thinking about what to do. Have any ideas? Well, the weather is supposed to be great, so how about a picnic? That sounds lovely. Where do you suggest we have the picnic? How about the park near my place? It has a beautiful lake. Perfect. Should we invite some friends to join us? Definitely. How about Sarah and John? They love the outdoors. Great idea. I'll give them a call and ask if they're available. 
Awesome. And what about food? Should we all bring something? Yes, let's make it potluck style. Everyone can bring a dish to share. Sounds fair. I'll bring some sandwiches and fruit salad. I'll handle the drinks and snacks then. Can't wait for Saturday. Me neither. It'll be a fun and relaxing day. See you then. Hi. Have you traveled anywhere interesting recently? Yes, I went to a beautiful tropical island last month. That sounds amazing. Which island did you visit? It was called Paradise Island. The beaches were breathtaking. I've heard about that place. Did you stay at a resort? Yes, we stayed at a cozy beachside villa. It was perfect. Were there any activities or attractions you recommend? Snorkeling and exploring the coral reefs were a must-do. That sounds fun. Did you encounter any interesting sea life? Yes, we saw colorful fish and even a sea turtle up close. Wow, that must have been an incredible experience. It truly was. Have you been on any memorable trips? Last year, I traveled to a historic European city called Prague. Oh, I've always wanted to visit Prague. How was it? It was stunning, with its ancient architecture and rich culture. Did you visit any famous landmarks while you were there? Yes. I explored Prague Castle and walked across Charles Bridge. That sounds fascinating. I'll definitely add it to my list. You should. It's a city full of history and charm. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for sharing your experience. No problem. I hope you get to visit soon. Happy travels. Thank you, and safe travels to you too. Goodbye. Hey, have you ever traveled on a budget before? Yeah, I've tried it a few times. It can be challenging but also rewarding. I'm planning a trip but I don't want to spend too much. Any tips? Well, first, make a budget and stick to it. It helps you prioritize your expenses. That's a good point. How about accommodation? Any recommendations? Look for budget-friendly options like hostels or even Airbnb rentals. What about transportation? Should I rent a car or use public transport? Public transport is usually cheaper and more convenient in most places. Great advice. And what about food? Dining out can be expensive, right? Absolutely. Try to eat at local street food stalls or cook your own meals. That sounds interesting. What are some other money-saving tips? Consider traveling during the off-peak season to get better deals on flights. Good idea. Do you have any recommendations for cheap activities to do? Look for free walking tours, explore parks, or visit local museums on discounted days. I'll keep that in mind. Is there anything else I should know? Just be flexible and open to new experiences. Sometimes the best things are free. Thanks for all the advice. I feel more confident about traveling on a budget now. Hi there. I wanted to talk to you about maintaining a healthy lifestyle. Sounds interesting. I'm all ears. What's on your mind? I was thinking about the importance of regular exercise. It helps to stay fit. Absolutely. I try to incorporate exercise into my daily routine as well. That's great. 
What kind of exercises do you usually do? I enjoy jogging and weightlifting. It keeps me energized throughout the day. Have you ever tried yoga or Pilates? They are excellent for flexibility and strength. Oh, I haven't given them a try yet. Would you recommend them? Definitely. They're low impact and great for mental relaxation too. I think I'll give it a shot then. Thanks for the suggestion. You're welcome. Another important aspect is consuming a balanced diet. I couldn't agree more. Do you follow any specific diet plan? I eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, lean proteins, and avoid processed foods. That's a good approach. I should try to incorporate more healthy foods into my meals. It's all about making small changes over time. Start with one meal at a time. That's a great tip. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for the advice. No problem. Taking care of our health is essential for a happy and fulfilling life. Hey, have you got any interesting hobbies recently? Actually, I've started painting. It's a great way to relax. That's cool. What kind of stuff do you like to paint? I mainly focus on landscapes and nature scenes. Nice. Do you use any specific techniques or materials? I experiment with acrylic paints and try different brush strokes. Have you thought about showcasing your art somewhere? Not yet, but I'm considering joining a local art club soon. That's a good idea. It would give you exposure and feedback. Absolutely. It's always helpful to get different perspectives. Do you have any favorite artists who inspire your work? I'm really inspired by Vincent van Gogh and his use of color. I can see that influence in your vibrant paintings. Well done. Thank you. It's a work in progress, but I'm enjoying it a lot. Hey, have you ever traveled by train before? Yes, I have. I took a train trip last summer. It was amazing. Really? Where did you go and how was the experience? I traveled from London to Edinburgh. The journey was breathtaking. That sounds wonderful. How long did the train ride take? It took around four hours. I enjoyed the scenic views along the way. Did you have enough legroom on the train? I always worry about that. Surprisingly, yes. The seats were spacious and comfortable. That's good to know. Did you have access to Wi-Fi on board? Yes, the train had free Wi-Fi, so I could stay connected throughout. That's convenient. Did the train have a dining car? What did you eat? Yes, it had a dining car. I had a delicious sandwich and some coffee. Were there any delays during the journey? How was the punctuality? Thankfully, the train was on time both during departure and arrival. That's great to hear. Did you find it easy to navigate the train station? Yes, the staff was helpful, and the station signs were clear and concise. I'm glad to hear that. Overall, would you recommend train travel? Absolutely. It's a comfortable and scenic way to explore new places. Thanks for sharing your experience. I'll consider traveling by train too. You're welcome. I'm sure you'll enjoy the journey. Hey, do you have any hobbies that you enjoy in your free time? Yes, I love painting. 
It helps me relax and express myself creatively. That sounds interesting. What kind of things do you usually paint? I mostly paint landscapes and nature scenes. I find them very calming. That's cool. Have you ever exhibited any of your paintings? No, not yet. I'm still building my skills before considering exhibiting. Well, I'm sure your paintings are amazing. Have you tried any other art forms? Besides painting, I also enjoy sketching and pottery. They're quite fun. Oh, I've always wanted to try pottery. Is it difficult to learn? It can be challenging at first, but with practice, it becomes easier. I might give it a try someday. So, how did you first get into painting? I started taking classes in high school and fell in love with it since then. That's great. Do you have any favorite artists who inspire your work? I admire Monet and Van Gogh. Their use of color is truly remarkable. I can see why. They're both incredible artists. Well, keep up the good work. Thank you. It was nice talking about hobbies with you. Hey, the weather is so nice today. Want to go for a walk? Sure. I could use some fresh air. Where shall we go? How about the park nearby? It's a peaceful place to stroll. That sounds perfect. Let's meet there in 10 minutes. Great. I'll see you at the entrance. Don't forget your mask. I won't. I always carry it with me these days. Safety first. Absolutely. It's important to stay vigilant even outdoors. I agree. So, what's new with you? I feel like we haven't caught up. Not much, just finishing a new book. How about you? I'm taking a cooking class online. Learning new recipes. That's fantastic. What dish have you enjoyed making the most? I've been experimenting with homemade pasta. It's so rewarding. I bet it tastes amazing. I'll have to come over for a pasta night. Definitely. We can plan it for next week. I'll send you recipes. Sounds like a plan. Looking forward to it. Let's start our walk now. Agreed. It'll be nice to enjoy some conversation along the way. Hey, how's it going? Not bad, thanks. What have you been up to? I've been exploring new hobbies lately. How about you? That sounds interesting. I've been wanting to try something new too. Well, I've taken up photography recently. It's really fun. Oh, that's neat. Do you have any favorite subjects to photograph? I love capturing landscapes and nature the most. It's so peaceful. I can imagine. Nature photography must be very calming. It really is. Have you thought about what new hobby you'd like to try? I've been thinking about learning to play the guitar. It seems challenging. That's a great choice. Music can be very rewarding. Any specific genre? I love rock music, so I'd probably start with that. How about you? I enjoy listening to jazz, so I think I might try learning the saxophone. That's awesome. Jazz saxophone sounds so smooth and soulful. I hope I can get there someday. What's the next step for your guitar lessons? I'm planning to join a beginner's class. I want to learn everything properly. That's smart. Taking lessons will definitely help you progress faster. I hope so. 
It's always more motivating to learn with others too. Absolutely. It's great to have a supportive community around you. Hi. Have you made any travel plans recently? Yes, I'm actually planning a trip to Europe next month. That sounds exciting. Which countries are you visiting? I'm planning to visit France, Italy, and Spain. Great choices. Do you have specific cities in mind? Yes, I want to visit Paris, Rome, and Barcelona. Those are iconic cities with so much to see and do. I agree. Have you been to any of them before? Yes, I've been to Paris and Rome. They were amazing. That's wonderful. Any recommendations for must-see places? In Paris, visit the Eiffel Tower and Louvre Museum. Noted. And what about Rome? Any must-visit attractions. The Colosseum and Vatican City should be on your list. I'll make sure to include them. How about Barcelona? Don't miss out on the Sagrada Familia and Park Ghoul. Thanks for the suggestions. I can't wait to explore. You're going to have an incredible time. Bon voyage. Hey, have you made any plans for the weekend? Not yet. Why? Do you have something in mind? I was thinking we could go on a short trip somewhere nearby. That sounds like a great idea. Where do you suggest we go? How about visiting a national park? I heard there's one close by. Oh, I love nature. What kind of activities can we do there? Well, we can go hiking, have a picnic, and even camp overnight. Camping sounds adventurous. Can you arrange the camping gear? No worries, I have a tent, sleeping bags, and a portable stove. That's fantastic. Do we need any permits to camp in the park? Yes, we'll need to obtain permits in advance. Let me take care of it. Great. How much will the permits cost us? I'll check the park's website for the fees, but it should be affordable. All right. Once you have all the details, let me know. I'm excited. Sure thing. I'll gather all the information and we'll have a blast. Hey, I've been thinking about planning a weekend getaway. That sounds great. Where are you thinking of going? I'm thinking we could go hiking in the nearby mountains. That's a fantastic idea. I love being in nature. I know a beautiful trail with breathtaking views. Oh, I can't wait to see it. When are you thinking of going? How about next weekend? We can leave on Friday evening. Friday works for me. What time should we leave? Let's aim to leave around 6 p.m., so we have enough daylight. Sounds good. Should we stay overnight or come back the same day? We'll have more time to explore if we stay overnight. Agreed. Do we need to book accommodation in advance? I'll take care of it. I found a cozy cabin available for rent. Perfect. How much will it cost us for the weekend? It's quite reasonable. Around $100 per person for two nights. That's a good deal. Count me in. Let's have a memorable trip. Great. I'll book it today and we can start packing our bags. How's your fitness routine going these days? 
It's been challenging, but I've managed to stay consistent. That's great. What activities or exercises do you do? I usually go for a run in the morning, and then I do some strength training. Running must help you stay in shape. How far do you usually run? I aim for around 5 kilometers, but sometimes I push myself to go further. Impressive. Do you do any specific stretches before or after your run? Yes. I always warm up with some dynamic stretches and cool down with static stretches. I've heard that strength training is beneficial. What kind of exercises do you do? I focus on compound movements like squats, deadlifts, and bench presses. Is there a particular fitness goal you're working towards? I'm aiming to improve my overall strength and build lean muscle mass. That sounds like a solid goal. Have you seen any improvements so far? Definitely. I feel stronger, and my endurance has increased significantly. That's fantastic. Any tips for someone who wants to start their fitness journey? Consistency is key, and it's important to find activities that you enjoy doing. Thank you for the advice. I'll definitely keep that in mind when I start exercising. You're welcome. I'm sure you'll do great. Good luck with your fitness journey. Hi, how is your day going? It's going well, thanks. How about yours? Pretty good. So, do you have any hobbies? Yes, I enjoy painting and reading books. What about you? I love playing the guitar and hiking in the mountains. That sounds interesting. How long have you been playing? I've been playing for about five years now. What about you? I've been painting for as long as I can remember. That's impressive. Do you paint landscapes or portraits? I mostly paint landscapes, but I've also tried portraits. That's great. I've always wanted to learn how to paint. It's never too late to start. You should give it a try. Maybe I will. Thanks for the suggestion. You're welcome. Let me know if you need any tips. Hey, do you have any tips for managing time effectively? Absolutely. One important tip is setting clear goals. That makes sense. How do you prioritize your tasks? I use the Eisenhower matrix. Have you heard of it? No, what's that? It's a system that helps prioritize tasks based on urgency and importance. Interesting. How do you handle distractions while working? I try to eliminate them by turning off notifications on my phone. That's a good idea. What about procrastination? To overcome it, I break tasks into smaller, manageable steps. That could work. How do you deal with unexpected interruptions? I allocate buffer time in my schedule for handling such situations. That seems helpful. How do you ensure work-life balance? I set boundaries and dedicate specific time for personal activities. That's important. Any last time management tips for me? Always plan ahead and review your progress regularly. Hey, have you heard about the benefits of healthy eating? Yeah, I've been trying to make some changes lately. What have you learned? Well, including more fruits and veggies in your diet can boost your immune system. That makes sense. 
I've been trying to snack on carrots and apples instead of chips. That's a good start. Have you considered reducing your intake of processed foods? Absolutely. I've been cooking meals at home using fresh ingredients instead. Great. Did you know that drinking plenty of water helps with digestion and weight loss? I've heard that, and I've been aiming to drink at least 8 glasses a day. Excellent. It's also important to watch your portion sizes. Are you mindful of that? Yes, I've been using smaller plates to help control my portions better. Smart move. Another tip is to limit your intake of sugary drinks like soda and juices. I've replaced those with herbal tea and infused water. It's been refreshing. Wonderful. Lastly, remember to listen to your body and eat when you're hungry, not bored. I've been trying to be more aware of my hunger cues and eat only when necessary. That's fantastic. It sounds like you're on the right track to a healthier lifestyle. Thanks. I feel better already, and I'm excited to continue this journey. Good morning. Did you sleep well last night? Hey. Yes, I had a great night's sleep. How about you? I'm feeling a little groggy. I struggled to wake up early. Ah, I used to be like that too. Do you have a morning routine? Not really, I usually just hit snooze a few times. What about you? I like to wake up early and start my day with some exercise. That sounds healthy. I should try that sometime. What's next? After exercising, I take a shower and get ready for the day. How do you decide what to wear? It takes me forever to choose. I lay out my clothes the night before, so it saves me time. That's a good idea. I'll give it a try. What do you do next? Once I'm dressed, I have breakfast and then head to work. Sounds like a productive morning routine. I should follow it too. It definitely helps me start the day on the right foot. Hey, what do you enjoy doing in your free time? I love cooking and trying out new recipes. How about you? I enjoy playing the guitar and writing songs. That's awesome. Do you play in a band? No, not yet. I'm still learning and practicing. Well, keep it up. It's a great way to express yourself. Thanks. So, what kind of dishes do you like to cook? I'm really into Italian cuisine, especially pasta dishes. Oh, I love pasta too. Do you have a favorite recipe? My go-to recipe is spaghetti aglio e olio. It's simple but delicious. Sounds yummy. I'll have to try making it sometime. Definitely. Let me know how it turns out. Will do. By the way, do you also enjoy trying new restaurants? Absolutely. I love exploring different cuisines and flavors. Me too. We should go on a food adventure together sometime. That sounds like a plan. Let's make it happen soon. Hey, have you checked out the new fashion store downtown? No, I haven't. What's so special about it? Well, they have a great selection of trendy clothes. That sounds interesting. I could use some new outfits. Definitely. They have everything from casual wear to formal attire. I've been searching for a nice dress to wear to a wedding. 
You should check out their dresses section. They have a wide range. Are the prices reasonable? Yes, for the quality and style, their prices are quite fair. That's good to know. Is the store crowded though? It gets busy sometimes, but they have helpful staff to assist you. That's a relief. I always need help with choosing clothes. They also have fitting rooms, so you can try things on. Perfect. I like to make sure things fit before buying. You should definitely give it a visit. I'm sure you'll find something. Thanks for the recommendation. I'll head over there this weekend. Hey, how about having dinner together tonight? That sounds great. What are you planning to cook? I'm thinking of preparing some spaghetti carbonara. Yum. Can I bring something to contribute? Sure. How about bringing a salad or some garlic bread? I can make a Caesar salad. What time should I come? Let's say around 7 p.m. Does that work for you? Perfect. Should I bring any drinks? Some wine would be nice, if you have any. I have a bottle of red wine. See you later then. Looking forward to it. See you soon. See you at 7 p.m. Bye for now. Goodbye. See you soon, and thanks again for coming. No problem. Happy to join. Goodbye for now. Hi. Have you had a chance to explore our new neighborhood? Yes, I've been taking walks around. It's quite charming. That's great. Have you found any interesting local shops? Yes, there's a cozy bookstore nearby with a wide selection. Oh, I love bookstores. What other places have you found? I stumbled upon a quaint coffee shop with delicious pastries. Sounds lovely. Is it within walking distance from our place? Definitely, just a short stroll away from our apartment. Perfect. I enjoy taking walks. Any good restaurants nearby? Yes, there's a cozy Italian trattoria that serves amazing pasta. I'm a fan of Italian cuisine. We should try it sometime. Absolutely. Let's make plans to go there next week. Sounds like a plan. I'm excited to discover our new neighborhood. Me too. It's always interesting to find hidden gems close by. Hi there. Have you ever thought about planning a trip abroad? Yes, I've always wanted to explore new places. Where do you suggest? How about a European adventure? There are so many amazing countries to visit. That sounds exciting. What cities would you recommend? Well, Paris is a must-visit for its iconic landmarks and artistic culture. I've heard about the delicious food there. Any other recommendations? Absolutely. Barcelona offers stunning architecture and wonderful beaches. That sounds perfect. How do we decide on the best time to go? Well, we should consider the weather, local festivals, and peak tourist seasons. Good point. How long do you think we should stay in each city? It depends on the city, but a few days in each would give us a taste of their charm. I agree. We should also make sure to plan some free time to explore on our own. Definitely. It's important to have flexibility and discover hidden gems. Hey, how's your weekend going? Pretty good. 
Thanks. I've been trying to stay active. How about you? That's great. I've been struggling to find motivation to exercise lately. I totally understand. It can be tough, but it's important for our health. Yeah, I know. What kind of exercise do you usually do? I enjoy going for a run in the morning and practicing yoga in the evenings. That sounds nice. I used to go to the gym, but it's closed now due to COVID-19. I completely get it. Have you tried any home workouts? I've tried a few YouTube videos, but I keep getting distracted at home. I understand. Maybe you can set a specific time and create a dedicated workout space? That's a good idea. I'll give it a try. How often do you exercise? I aim for at least three days a week, but sometimes I squeeze in more. Wow, that's impressive. I really need to get back into a routine. It takes time, but once you make it a habit, you'll feel so much better. I hope so. Thanks for the motivation. I'm inspired to start again. That's fantastic. Remember, progress is progress no matter how small. Hey, do you have any hobbies or interests? Yes, I enjoy painting and playing the guitar. How about you? I love photography and reading. What do you like to paint? Mostly landscapes and portraits. It's a great way to relax. That sounds amazing. I've always wanted to try painting. You definitely should. It's a great way to express yourself. I'll give it a shot. So, how long have you been playing the guitar? I've been playing for about five years now. It's my passion. That's impressive. Any tips for a beginner like me? Just practice regularly and don't give up. It takes time. I'll keep that in mind. So, what kind of music do you play? I enjoy playing a mix of classical and contemporary songs. That's cool. I love listening to different genres, too. Hi, I noticed you're my new neighbor. How are you settling in? Oh, yes. I just moved in last week. I'm getting used to the new place. Great. Is there anything you need help with? Feel free to ask. Thank you. Actually, I haven't been able to find a nearby supermarket yet. There's one about a mile away. I can show you the way if you'd like. That would be wonderful. I appreciate your kindness. No problem at all. By the way, have you met any of our other neighbors? Not yet. I've been so busy unpacking. Are they friendly around here? Absolutely. We have a close-knit community. Everyone is welcoming. That's great to hear. I'm looking forward to meeting them soon. I'm sure you'll fit right in. We often have neighborhood gatherings, too. That sounds lovely. I'd love to join and get to know everyone better. Perfect. I'll make sure to invite you to our next get-together. Thank you so much. I appreciate your hospitality. Hey, how are you? I heard you started a new hobby recently. Hello. Yes, I did. I've taken up painting. It's quite relaxing. That's interesting. What kind of paintings do you usually do? Mostly landscapes and portraits. I enjoy capturing nature's beauty. Do you use any particular techniques or styles in your paintings? I experiment with different styles like Impressionism and Realism. 
That sounds fun. Have you joined any painting classes or workshops? No, I'm self-taught. I watch tutorials online and practice at home. Wow, you must be really talented. Do you plan to showcase your work? Thank you. Yes, I'm considering participating in local art exhibitions. That's a great idea. It would be wonderful to see your paintings on display. I hope so. It's a fulfilling hobby that allows me to express myself. Absolutely. Hobbies bring so much joy and help us unwind from daily life. Indeed, it's important to make time for activities we truly enjoy. Well, I'm glad you found painting. It suits you well. Thank you. If you ever want to try it, I can give you some tips. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for sharing about your hobby. You're welcome. I'm always happy to talk about art. Hey, have you finished your grocery shopping for the week? Not yet. I need to buy some essentials. What about you? I have a list of items to get. Want to go together? Sure, that would be helpful. Shall we meet at the supermarket? Sounds good. Let's meet there in an hour. Is that all right? Perfect. See you in an hour at the supermarket entrance. Hey, sorry I'm late. Is there anything you've already bought? No worries. I've just started. Let's shop together now. Great. I need some fruits and vegetables. Where are they? They're in the produce section. Follow me, it's this way. Thanks. By the way, do you know where I can find bread? The bakery section is on the left side of the store. Got it. Oh, I also need some milk and eggs. Any idea? Dairy items are usually at the back of the store. Let's go. Perfect. I think we're almost done. Anything else on your list? Not really. Let's head to the checkout counter now. All right. Let's finish up and then we can go grab a coffee. Sounds like a plan. Let's go pay and then relax a bit. Hi, how's it going? Hey, I'm good, thanks. How about you? I'm doing well. So, what are your plans for the future? I've been thinking about going back to school. That sounds interesting. What field are you considering? I'm contemplating studying psychology. That's a great choice. Any specific career goals in mind? Yes, I want to become a clinical psychologist. Wow, that's impressive. Have you researched the requirements? Yes, I have. I'll need to earn a doctorate degree. That's a long journey, but it'll be worth it. How do you plan to finance it? I'm thinking of applying for scholarships and taking part-time jobs. That's a smart approach. Have you decided on a particular college? Not yet. I'm still researching various universities. Well, I can recommend a few if you need any help. That would be great. I appreciate your support. No problem at all. Let's meet up sometime to discuss it further. Definitely. Thanks for the offer. Hey, I've been thinking about taking a vacation. Any suggestions? Definitely. What kind of vacation are you looking for? Well, I want to explore a new city and relax on a beautiful beach. How about traveling to a coastal city like Barcelona or Sydney? 
Those sound great. What are some attractions I shouldn't miss? In Barcelona, you must visit Sagrada Familia and Park Gul. And in Sydney? Don't miss the iconic Sydney Opera House and Bondi Beach. Perfect. Now, what about accommodation options? You can choose between hotels, vacation rentals, or hostels. I prefer a comfortable hotel near the city center. Any suggestions? Hotel ABC is highly recommended. It offers great amenities and location. Sounds good. How about transportation in the city? Barcelona has an efficient metro system, and Sydney has extensive buses and trains. Great. What's the best way to book flights and accommodations? You can use travel websites like Expedia or Booking.com for the best deals. Awesome. Thanks for all the information. I'm excited to plan my trip now. Hi there. How have you been taking care of your health lately? I've actually started going to the gym regularly. It's made a huge difference. That's great. What exercises do you usually do at the gym? I focus on cardio exercises like running on the treadmill and cycling. Do you also incorporate strength training into your routine? Yes, I do weightlifting exercises to build muscle and increase my strength. Are you following any specific diet or eating plan along with your workouts? I try to eat a balanced diet with lots of fruits, vegetables, and lean proteins. Have you seen any positive changes in your overall health and fitness? Definitely. I've noticed increased energy levels and improved muscle tone. That's fantastic. Any tips you can share for staying motivated? Setting achievable goals and tracking my progress has really helped me stay on track. Hey, I heard you recently went on a trip. How was it? It was quite an adventure, but unfortunately, I lost my luggage. Oh no. Where did you lose it? I think it happened during my layover at the airport in London. That's awful. Did you report it to the airline? Yes, I did. They gave me a report number and said they would search for it. Were you able to get any compensation for your lost belongings? Yes, thankfully. The airline reimbursed me for the lost items. That's a relief. Did you have any important things in your luggage? Yes, unfortunately, my laptop and camera were in there. That must have been really frustrating. Did they ever find your luggage? Yes, after a few days, they called and informed me that they had located it. That's great news. Did you have to go back to the airport to pick it up? No, they delivered it to my hotel, which was a big convenience. I'm glad everything turned out all right in the end. Did you still enjoy your trip overall? Despite the luggage mishap, I had a wonderful time exploring new places. That's what matters most. I hope your future travels go smoother. Hey, have you started looking for a job after graduation? Yes, I have. It's been challenging, but I'm hopeful. How about you? I'm in the same boat. What kind of job are you targeting? I'm interested in working in the marketing field. How about you? I'm leaning towards a career in finance. Have you had any interviews yet? Not yet, but I've been sending out my resume. How about you?
I had one interview last week, but I haven't heard back yet. Are you networking? Yes, I've been attending industry events and reaching out to professionals. That's great. Networking can open up a lot of opportunities. Any advice? Make sure to tailor your resume and cover letter to each job application. Good point. I'm also working on improving my interview skills. Any tips? Research the company beforehand and practice answering common interview questions. Thanks for the advice. It's a competitive market, but we'll find our way. Absolutely. Persistence and staying positive will pay off in the end. Hi there. I noticed we're both new in this neighborhood. Yes, I just moved in last week. Are you enjoying it so far? Definitely. But I do miss having close friends nearby. How about you? I feel the same way. It's hard to make friends as adults, isn't it? Absolutely. Do you have any suggestions on how to meet new people? Well, one idea is to join local community groups or clubs. Have you tried that? Not yet, but I've been considering it. Which clubs do you recommend? Well, there's a book club that meets at the library every week. That could be fun. Oh, I love reading. I'll definitely check that out. Any other suggestions? You could also try volunteering at a nearby charity or attending local events. Volunteering sounds great. I'd love to give back to the community. Thanks. You're welcome. I've found that engaging in hobbies you enjoy can also help. That makes sense. Maybe I should look for a dance or painting class as well. That's a fantastic idea. It's a great way to meet people with similar interests. Hey, I heard you've been hitting the gym lately. How's it going? Yes, it's been great. I feel much healthier and more energetic. That's awesome. What made you start exercising regularly? Well, I realized that I needed to take care of my health and stay fit. I totally get it. So, what benefits have you noticed so far? Oh, there are many. Firstly, I've lost some weight and gained muscle tone. That's fantastic. Any other physical improvements you've experienced? Definitely. My endurance has improved, and I no longer get tired easily. That's impressive. How about mental benefits? Exercise has definitely helped reduce my stress levels and boost my mood. That's great to hear. Have you noticed any other positive changes? Yes, I'm sleeping much better now, and my overall productivity has increased. That's wonderful. Any advice for someone looking to start exercising? Start slowly, find activities you enjoy, and be consistent. It's worth it. Thanks for the advice. I'll keep that in mind. Keep up the good work. Thanks. I'm looking forward to seeing more positive changes in the future. Hi. How was your day today? It was all right. Just the usual routine. How about you? Same here. I woke up early and went for a run. That sounds energizing. I struggle to wake up early. It definitely took some time to adjust, but now I love it. I envy your motivation. What do you do after the run? I take a quick shower and have a healthy breakfast. Ah, I need to work on my breakfast choices. What's next? 
Then I head to work, which is just a few minutes away. That's convenient. I have a longer commute to the office. I understand. How does your workday usually go? Meetings, emails, and project deadlines keep me busy. I can relate. After work, I unwind with some hobbies. That sounds relaxing. I usually watch TV or read a book. That's a great way to end the day. Time for bed soon? Yes, I need my beauty sleep. Good night, and see you tomorrow. Good night and take care. Have a restful sleep. Hi. Have you ever rented a vacation home before? Yes, I have. It's a great way to have a more comfortable stay. Have you? No, but I'm thinking about it for our next trip. Any tips? Definitely. First, decide on the location and number of bedrooms you need. Right. We want to be close to the beach and need at least two bedrooms. Great. Next, check online platforms for available rentals in your desired area. Should we book directly or through an agency? Both options are fine, but booking directly with the owner can save you money. That's a good point. How can we ensure the rental is legitimate and safe? Read reviews from previous guests and ask for more photos if needed. Good advice. What about payment? How does that usually work? Most owners require a deposit up front and the remaining balance closer to your stay. Okay. Is there anything else we should consider before finalizing the booking? Communicate with the owner to clarify any questions and confirm all the details. Sounds reasonable. Let's start searching for the perfect vacation rental now. Hey, how have you been? I heard you started focusing on living healthier. Hi, yes, I decided to make some positive changes. I've been exercising regularly. That's great. What kind of exercises do you do? I mainly do a combination of cardio, like jogging and cycling, and strength training. How often do you exercise each week? I try to exercise at least five times a week, for about an hour each session. Wow, that's impressive. Do you follow a specific diet too? Yes, I've started eating more fruits and vegetables and cut down on processed foods. Have you noticed any differences in how you feel since starting this lifestyle? Absolutely. I have more energy throughout the day and sleeping has become easier. That's wonderful. Have you faced any challenges in maintaining these habits? Sometimes it's hard to resist unhealthy temptations, but I remind myself of the benefits. Any tips for someone wanting to start living healthier? Start small, set achievable goals, and find activities you enjoy to make it sustainable. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for sharing your experience with me. You're welcome. Let me know if you need any more tips or support along the way. Hey, how have you been? Getting into any new hobbies lately? Yeah, actually, I recently started painting. It's been a great way to relax. That sounds amazing. What kind of paintings do you like to create? Right now, I'm into landscapes. I find it quite therapeutic to capture nature's beauty. I can totally understand that. Do you use watercolors or acrylics? I prefer watercolors. They give a soft and dreamy effect to my paintings. 
That's interesting. I've always wanted to try painting. Any tips for beginners? Start with small projects and experiment with different techniques. Enjoy the process. Will do. By the way, have you ever tried any other artistic hobbies? Yes, I enjoy photography as well. It allows me to capture special moments and emotions. Photography is fantastic. What type of subjects do you like to shoot? I prefer nature and wildlife photography. It allows me to connect with the environment. That must be truly inspiring. Do you plan on doing anything with your artwork? For now, it's just a personal hobby, but who knows, maybe I'll exhibit my work someday. That would be great. Art has a way of touching people's hearts. Keep pursuing it. Thank you for the encouragement. I will definitely continue exploring my creative side. Hey there. You must be the new neighbor. Nice to meet you. Yes, I just moved in yesterday. Pleasure to meet you too. Welcome to the neighborhood. Have you settled into your new place? Thank you. I'm still unpacking, but it's coming together. That's great to hear. If you need any help, feel free to ask. Thank you. I appreciate that. Everyone seems friendly here. Absolutely. We have a close-knit community here. Any hobbies? I enjoy reading and cooking. Are there any good bookstores nearby? Yes, there's a bookstore downtown. They have a wide range of genres. That's perfect. I'll definitely check it out. How about restaurants? There are plenty of options in town. Do you have any dietary preferences? Not really. I'm open to trying different cuisines. Any recommendations? Well, there's a cozy Italian restaurant a few blocks away. It's lovely. Sounds delicious. I'll mark it down as a place to visit. Thanks. You're welcome. If you need suggestions, I'm happy to help. That's very kind of you. I'm glad I moved here. So far, so good. Hey, how are you? What have you been up to lately? Hi there. I've been trying to establish healthy habits. And you? That sounds great. I've been trying to improve my diet. That's a good idea. What changes have you made so far? I've started eating more fruits and vegetables every day. That's awesome. Have you noticed any positive changes? Definitely. I feel more energetic and my skin looks better. That's great to hear. I've been trying to exercise regularly. What kind of exercises have you been doing? I've been jogging in the park and doing some yoga at home. That sounds like a good routine. Are you enjoying it? Yes, I actually look forward to it now. It helps me relax. That's fantastic. How about incorporating meditation? I've been meaning to try that. Do you have any tips for me? Start with just a few minutes every day and focus on breathing. I'll give it a try. Thanks for the advice. Hi, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. How about you? I'm great. I was thinking about planning a trip. That sounds exciting. Where do you want to go? I'm considering visiting a European country. Europe has so many beautiful destinations. Which one? I haven't decided yet. Any recommendations? How about Italy? 
It's known for its rich history and food. That sounds interesting. What cities should I visit? Rome, Florence, and Venice are must-see cities in Italy. I'll make a note of that. What about accommodation? You can choose between hotels or booking an Airbnb. I'll probably go for an Airbnb. It's usually cheaper. That's a good choice. Have you looked into transportation? Not yet. Is it easy to get around European cities? Yes. Most cities have reliable public transportation systems. That's convenient. I'll make sure to plan accordingly. Great. Don't forget to check visa requirements too. Oh right, I almost forgot. Thanks for reminding me. Anytime. Let me know if you need more help. Will do. I appreciate it. Hey, do you have a minute? I need some advice. Sure, what's up? I'm looking for a new place to live. Any tips on where to start? Well, first think about your budget and desired location. Right. I want a safe neighborhood near my workplace. That's important. Have you considered renting or buying? I'm leaning towards renting for now. More flexibility. Makes sense. Have you checked local listings or websites? Yes, but there are so many options. I'm overwhelmed. Narrow it down by setting specific criteria, like number of bedrooms. Good idea. I need at least two bedrooms for my family. Then filter your search based on that requirement. And what about utilities? Are they usually included in the rent? It varies, so make sure to ask the landlord or property manager. Got it. Any other advice for finding a good place? Take your time, visit multiple places, and trust your instincts. Thanks for the advice. I'll start my search with these tips. You're welcome. Good luck, and let me know if you need any more help.